Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't keep quiet, I'll come down there and arrest you all, so watch out. Time is getting on, so if we can press on, and I know you want to uh, make your way back home early before the ice sets in. Um, I appear on behalf of the sponsors. The sponsors are One Northeast, the Port of Tyne, Sovereign Strategy, and dare I say, of course, Northumbria University, where I'm honored to be the Chancellor. Before I get into uh, my introduction of Ian Donnelly and the rest of what I have to say this evening, uh, the regional minister, Nick Brown, cannot be here this evening. Maybe they're discussing the date for the election, who knows, or even other more important things. But he is going to address us by way of video, which has been previously made, and I'd be grateful if uh, we could start that video and then if we can listen to what is said. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the northeast of England. I'd really love to be with you tonight, but unfortunately I have to be in Parliament taking my part in the affairs of the nation. And a special welcome to Ivan. I hope you enjoy your visit to the northeast. The automotive sector is extraordinarily important to us, and we take the developments in the sector really seriously. When I consulted recently, with the business community on what were the best things I could do for the region to help get through the economic downturn. The automotive sector was at the forefront of people's thoughts. They asked about the scrappage scheme. Uh, and of course, we're incredibly excited with the developments at Nissan, the potential of the electric car, and the part that the region is already playing uh, through Tanfield, developments at Tanfield, with uh, the exciting prospects for the electric vehicle. It's something that we have enthusiastically taken to our heart as a region. You already make a substantial contribution as a sector to our exports and of course to our employment base. So welcome to the region. I hope you have a very good night tonight and believe me, I really would love to be with you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth Northeast Economic Forum dinner. And it's a delight to see so many senior stakeholders from this region here tonight, especially on a night when the weather could be a lot better. Talking about the weather, um, in my village we've been cut off for two or three days, and the going up to the post office the other day, um, I came across an old villager um, who was in a bit of a grumpy mood. And he wasn't too happy with the way the coverage had taken place in relation to the weather in terms of the south and the north. And he said, uh, Chief, believe me, when you've been a Chief Constable up here, you never lose the word Chief. Sometimes it can be quite embarrassing. And he said, Chief, have you heard the story? I said, no, I don't hear very many stories these days. He said, well, the story is, goes as this, that when God was resting after six days of making this world that we live in, he was asked by the Archangel Gabriel, what he had done and what were the main principles of what he was doing. He said, uh, Gabriel, what I'm looking to do is actually get a balance to everything I do, a massive balance in everything I create. For example, in North America, I'm going to make it a country of great opportunity and wealth. In South America, probably a bit poorer, but that's the way it has to be. In the Middle East, I'm going to make it a hot spot, a very, very hot place in terms of climate. In Russia, I'm going to make it cold, icy, and not that comfortable in the winter. And God pointed to other, par other areas of the land, and the uh, villagers said, well, what are you doing in this other part of the land? And God said, ah, you refer to the north of England. I'm going to make that a glorious place on earth, full of beautiful people, having seven premier football teams, impressive cities, home of the world's finest artists, museums, writers, thinkers, explorers. People in the north of England are going to be modest, intelligent, humorous, sociable, hardworking speakers of the truth. And the archangel said, well, I thought you were looking for balance. And God turned around and said, yes, wait till you see the type of people I'm going to be putting in the south. 
Now, only a Londoner and an adopted Geordie could tell a so-called joke like that. Now, there is no doubt that this forum is massively important to this region. It was started in 2007. It has within it key decision makers in the region. And it has now an important role to make, surely in areas where we know that the Northeast needs help and other parts of the country in terms of the economic situation. There are, as was said earlier, far more elegantly by Hugh, reasons for real optimism. The new Northeast will be, as we've said, the first low carbon economic area. And in it, Nissan themselves are investing 200 million pounds in factories over the last five, in the next five years in Sunderland. And the Northeast will be looking to transform the automotive industry, providing support and innovation and demonstration and skills training for all. And Ivan, who will be coming here after we have heard from Alan, is a man of vast experience. He follows some very, very eminent people who have come up on this stage to address this forum over the last five years. Adam Bolton, who should be doing the job that Alan has agreed to do at the last moment, sends his apologies. He's interviewing someone at the moment called Alastair Campbell. And I think he might find that probably productive or otherwise after the evidence that was given to the tribunal or the committee this morning. He apologizes but will be at the conference later on this year and uh, Alan Donnelly, on short notice, has taken over his spot, for which we're very grateful. Alan, I know, needs no introduction to any of you. Uh, he retired from his position as a parliamentary economic affairs specialist as a member of the European Parliament in February of 2000. He's executive chairman of his own company, Sovereign Strategy. He has offices in London, Newcastle, Brussels, and Kuwait. He advises the English Premier League, International Automobile Federation and the International Olympic Committee on various issues. And how about this? In the year 2008, he became the principal judge in Formula One World Championship. And he still looks 21. <laughs> because how you came to any conclusions after the Singapore crash that wasn't, I know not. And no doubt the appeal that's taking place through the French courts you will be uh, very closely involved in. Alan, we welcome you to the stage and thanks very much indeed for taking part and taking the place of someone at the very last minute. Thank you. Alan Donnelly. That's very